When you take a look back at 2022 and you really try to compare it to other years and, and take a look at what's happened, I can tell you it's been one of the toughest years we've ever had. We only got in two expeditions, had some mechanical issues with the boat and they just kind of popped up at, at bad times. Here late in the year and we were able to squeak in another expedition at a different time of year that we haven't tried in this area before and it ended up working out pretty well for us. It's about bringing the practical knowledge of world-class watermen together with scientists that are willing to collaborate across institutions so that we maximize the leap forward and knowledge off every animal. We've done that here, it's a model, it works. So I think the most exciting thing that's happening when you look at what's going on at OSEARCH in these eight different populations around the world is that we are, for the first time in history, fully describing the life history of the white sharks in one of those populations. So in the past, we've had some expeditions on this part of the coast where we've, you know, out of three weeks, we ended up fishing for three days and four days maybe, and those are not even consecutive. So it makes it difficult to get out there and get a four hour weather window and get shut down again. And this time, I think we had maybe 10 days or more out of 15. Pretty happy about the way the season wrapped up for us. We sampled a number of sharks off the southeastern United States, which was our focus for the year. We tagged and released five uh, white sharks this year over to the course of two expeditions. We collected more than 200 samples, which went to 19 of the 24 different studies that we do, and that represents about 27 different institutions getting samples. And we got out the first two biologgers ever in this part of the world for the sharks. And to be out here this late in the year and be able to pick off these sharks really kind of helps lift us up and finish with a high so that we can try to create some momentum going into next year. For the first time in history, people can say, wow, this is a solvable global puzzle. The eight populations are solvable. OSEARCH has proved it in the Northwest Atlantic.